Hello everyone, I am Professor Sachin Mondage from Sanjeevani KB Polytechnic, Kopargao. Welcome all of you in Sanjeevani Lecture Management System. In the last class, we discussed about the polymer in two part, that is uh, plastic and the type of polymerization reaction. In this class, we are going to discuss about the fifth content, that is your adhesive. So let us start with the adhesive. So adhesive. For example, the fabricol or the natural resins which is obtained from the trees or the plants, commonly called as the gum, which is sticky, tacky in nature, are said to be adhesive. So, such type of the fabricol or the gums they are used for joining the two surface material, two surface materials. So, adhesive can be defined as the any substance which are capable of holding the materials together by the surface attachment. So, it's a surface attachment. Phenomena. The bodies which are held together by adhesive are known as adherent. Means the bodies which are attached with the help of the adhesive are said to be adherent. While the process of holding the one adherent to other adherent by adhesive is called as the bonding. So if one body is attached to the another body, then that process are said to be a bonding. And the final assembly of two adherent and the adhesive is called as the bond or either the joint. So, which adhesive are said to be a quality adhesive? Quality of the adhesive is judged on the basis of the degree of tackiness. Tackiness in the sense stickiness. Uh, the, the substances which having a high degree of stickiness or the stickiness are said to be a, <coughs> a quality adhesive. Second one, the rapidity of the bonding. Once we apply the adhesive, how rapidly the bond is formed in between the adherent. Whether it form quickly or it take a too much times if it form uh, quickly then that adhesive are said to be a quality adhesive third one the strength of the bond setting whether uh, after the drying once it get dry uh, whether that uh, bond form between the two adherent is strong enough to hold that material together so that is the strength of the bond setting and the last one is the durability how long it lasts so that is the durability or the lifespan it should not be happen that we apply the adhesive and uh, uh, within the 24 hours or the 48 hours in between that that bond become weak and the material gets separated so it should be a durable uh, so that is all about the adhesive the next one is the characteristic of the adhesive the first character characteristic is that adhesive should have the suitable surface tension it means a liquid adhesive is suitable for adherent surface if it can wet that particular surface that is that should having the suitable surface tension the wetting tendency of liquid adhesive depends upon the first one is the surface tension and the second one is the viscosity of the adhesive the attraction between the liquid adhesive and adherent surface is maximum when the interfacial tension between the two is minimum and hence if a solvent for an adhesive is also a solvent for the material of the surface to be bonded then the solvent bites into the solid surface and the interface is replaced by the solid solution and consequently adhesive in a such a case bind the surface quite tenaciously so that is the property of the adhesive that should have the suitable surface tension second one an adhesive should have ability to form a film having greater tensile strength shear strength and the compressive strength so what it means in general what happen greater the tensile strength shear strength and the com compressive strength of your adhesive film then greater is the strength of bond tensile strength in the sense ability to carry the load better the tensile strength shear strength and the compressive strength better will be the strength of the bond third one a good adhesive should have negligible, negligible creep under the stress uh, stress of structure what it means in structural application where an adhesive is under great load the creep under stress impairs the bond strength of the adhesive it has been observed that 
a highly plasticized adhesive material is bound to creep under stress more readily than stiffer and more rigid thermosetting material so that is the uh, the third characteristic of your adhesive fourth one thermal coefficient of expansion of adhesive and adherent surface should be equal so the adhesive and adherent thermal coefficient of expansion should be equal thermal coefficient of expansion of adhesive and adherent surface also plays an important role in determining the bond strength to be developed when the adhesive film and the contacting surface have different thermal coefficients then the stress in the film is developed so that's why the thermal coefficient of both should be uh, equal it has been observed that the addition of finally powder inorganic substances like aluminum oxide to the adhesive lowers its thermal coefficient of expansion to a range of glass metal etc so that is the fourth property fifth one an adhesive should have low viscosity highly viscous adhesive tend to produce thick film with too many voids that is means gap which possesses the poor cohesive strength but in actual practice what happen the thickness of adhesive film is indirectly related to the viscosity of adhesive solution thus a bonding of surface by adhesive is done under pressure then the thickness of the adhesive film is controlled to get enhance the bond strength the addition of solvent or a plasticizer lower the viscosity of high polymer and hence it gives a thin film of the adhesive having increased bond strength sixth one a good adhesive should have polar group polar group containing adhesive are strongly absorbed by the organic coating surfaces on the other hand non polar polymeric adhesive provides poor bond strength for such surfaces consequently addition of polar molecules to a non polar adhesive increases the strength of adhesive if any substances which fulfill or satisfy the criteria said are said to be a good adhesive next one is the classification of the adhesive so adhesives are classified on the basis of the chemical nature the first one is the thermosetting synthetic resin second one thermoplastic resin third one natural resin adhesive fourth one starch adhesive fifth one inorganic adhesive sixth one vegetable glues and the seventh one is your animal glues so let's see the one by one the classification of the adhesive on the basis of chemical nature thermosetting synthetic resin they form three dimensional compounds with cross linking structure I already we uh, studied the thermosetting polymer a similar resin is taken for adhesive purposes where three dimensional compounds with cross linking structure and have a great adhesive property the bond with them is insoluble these are the characteristics of the thermosetting polymers infusible and have a good resistance towards the heat moisture and the insect and the fungi uh, the example of the thermosetting synthetic resins are phenol formaldehyde resin we already studied urea formaldehyde instead of phenol you can use the urea nh2 c double bond nh2 and you will prepare the urea formaldehyde resin polyester we studied epoxy resin and the silicon resins they comes under the category that is your thermosetting synthetic resin second one thermoplastic resin uh, this thermoplastic in the sense thermo softening they are soluble fusible poor water resistance adhesive and they can be softened on heating for example cellulose derivatives cellulose acetate then you are this one thermo plastic resin they form the soluble fusible and the poor water resistance adhesive they get softened on heating for example cellulose derivative cellulose acetate ethyl cellulose acrylics and the polyphenols third one is your natural resin adhesive for example uh, uh, we uh, uh, see the example of the shellac resin especially you know uh, varnishes which are prepared uh, uh, from the saliva of the insects asphalt is the natural resin adhesive which are used for the bonding purposes fourth one is the starch adhesive fifth one is the inorganic adhesive sixth one is your vegetable oil for example soybean glue and the casein glue and the last one is the animal glue these are the classification of the adhesive we are going to see the application of the adhesive uh, 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 pfr means
Phenol formaldehyde resin is used for making water plywoods, laminates, bonding articles in aircraft and shipbuilding industry. Shipbuilding industry is where the uh, the the construction of the sh ship is going on. Aircraft industry, aeroplanes, aeroplane building industries where uh, uh, the the materials are uh, attached to one another by the surface where we can use the such type of the poly, uh, phenol formaldehyde resin urea formaldehyde resin is used for bonding wooden surfaces plywoods laminates articles in aircraft and the ship industry so all these uh, similar to the fevicol they are used for uh, uh, that is for the wooden surfaces especially the plywoods so uh, they are especially used in a uh, aircraft industry or the ship industry Epoxy resin are used for bonding glass, metallic and the ceramic article for example are all dead. So we can uh, uh, attach the glass surface to the glass surface or a glass surface to the metallic surface or metallic to the ceramic structure or the ceramic surfaces for example are all dead. Cellulose derivative are used in cloth and footwear resistance. So the foot or the sole of your footwear they can be attached with the help of system of the adhesive. Natural resins are used for making the belt and the conveyors. Uh, we will see the belt and the conveyors. Starch adhesive are used for making the envelope, stamp, notebook, binding books, and the other paper book. When you apply the way of the car, the other than the adhesive, starch adhesive, the envelope, which are used for the uh, the uh, uh, by sending the letters to the another by the post office or the, the stamps uh, also consist of the starch adhesive. Enable glues are rare one but they are used for manufacturing the furniture, radio cabinets or the card boxes. Here uh, the conveyor belt in the sense especially in industry the goods materials or the heavy materials they are carried on the belt they are said to be a conveyor belts. So such type of the conveyor belts they are made by using the such type of the adhesive. So this, this uh, content is enough for the adhesive. Uh, thank you for today's lecture. We will meet in a next lecture. Till then, goodbye.